I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easy But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh So the title gives it away. It's a 595 Competizione. Let's just have a look. Uh, come on, there you go. Right, ready? Oh, here we go. Listen to that! It sounds wicked. Oh. Alrighty then, so, um, yes, automatic. Now, obviously, a 599, five, oh my god, a 595 Competizione uh, as a manual gearbox is pretty easy. Oh my god, it is loud, but on this one, I've got so the car is in neutral, uh, so I press one, but that goes into one normal, so then I need to press the AM, then it goes into one automatic. So, oh, here we go. Right, um, I won't start in sport, let's just drive normally, so, so, yes, this is the, this is the auto, I, I hope you guys can hear me, it's quite loud, but, so this is the automatic gearbox, so, obviously the 595 competition, it comes in automatic and manual, but, I wanted a manual, I wanted a manual, I wanted an automatic, um, cop, oh, <laughs> oh my god, oh, Ow! This car is nuts. Yes, as I was saying, I want an automatic because I was going to do the longer journeys in it just to get my mileage down on my Mini. Uh, so I wanted a car which is kind of just easy to drive. So I wanted an automatic. Uh, I have seen how many manuals are on auto trader, so I realised there was, wasn't a lot around, but this kind of popped up and it worked and it fit the bill. Um, so let's just put it, I'm going to come to some wine units, let me put it in the sport. Oh, I got a G meter. <laughs> It actually works. I have no idea what G I'm pulling, but it does wobble around, so it must be doing something. So I'm going to use the automatic. It flies the. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, this car is nuts! So it's hard to translate what this car is doing, but it seems to be pulling in any direction it wants to go. making sounds. Yeah, it tends to change whenever it kind of... Oh. oh, there it goes again. Yeah, it kind of changes whenever I kind of... I guess I'm accelerating brake, but it kind of changes whatever it kind of wants to, which is interesting. Right, here I am, slowing down to a... Oh, there it changes, there we go. Slowing down to a junction. Stay on, please. Oh, ah. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Oh my god, this car is nuts. Bit of wheel spin, which is nice. That no, was an ambulance, it's okay. There we go. Yes, you're in a small, quaint town. Absolutely fine. Go around the thing. Visibility, good. Visibility on a, is a good thing. The, the windscreen is huge. It's like a big, which is a glass panel. It's obviously it's a glass panel, but it's huge in this car. It takes a, oh, it's beeping. Right, reverse. No idea what. It, yeah, so the, the gearbox is a little. Uh, one auto. The gearbox is quite. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Oh yes. Yeah. So what I was saying is the gearbox is quite interesting. Uh, when you uh, when you uh, are in. Uh, let me just count the sport for a second so it calms down. Let's just let's just calm down. So the gearbox. When you're accelerating hard. It's almost like it goes, oh, do you want to change now? I'll give, give me a second. I'll change now. And then, then, then it changes. That was my Italian accent. I'm sure you agree. It was, it was brilliant. Um, so, yeah, it kind of changes when it wants to. It actually, you kind of surprise it. So you accelerate hard. Uh, and then when you accelerate hard, then you then it goes to change. They go, oh, I need to change. I'm running out of space. But then when you when it comes to change, it thinks, oh, you want to, I need to change now. Give me two seconds. And then it changes. And then 
and then it, it kind of goes back again. So that's that kind of uh, that's that kind of uh, that's that kind of motion. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, what else? I mean, mirrors are good. Uh, steering is absolutely fine. I mean, the standard modes are not sport, uh, and it's absolutely fine. Um, oh, indicators. I mean, indicators work. Right. Let me just give it one, one, one little blast back, and then and then we're back, and I'll show you around the inside of the car. But here we go. I mean, second. <laughs> oh, it's just changed. Oh my god, it's just. Oh, break, 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 break. oh my god, I might be going faster than the car. It's just trying to kill me. Round and round and round. Oh, what G's am I going to pull? What G's? I'm pulling G's. Ah! Oh, a little light flashed up then saying it's probably going to tip over or something. That was interesting. It was in Italian, so I have no idea what it said. Yes, so. Let me pull over and let's have a look around the inside of this 595 Competizione. So we know we come back for that absolutely ridiculous drive. This car is so funny. Uh, let's have a look on the inside. So, let's start with the steering wheel. Well, we've got um, bits of carbon on it. Let me just kind of focus on the car. We've got bits of carbon, which look really cool. Uh, I've got bit buttons for the uh, phone on that one side. That side, I've got uh, little things for the radio on here. I've also got bits of Alcantara on the wheel which are nice. Uh, in the middle I've got obviously all the gauges, uh, temperature, fuel, and a G meter. Oh that's because I'm in sport. If I press the sport button, there you go, goes back to normal. I can have a look at my normal revs and stuff. I've got aqua which you know I can actually understand is water or liquid, whatever it is. Uh, benzina which I guess is fuel because that's where the fuel is. Uh, and then I've got this G meter, which a uh, 500, uh, so, ah, sorry, and a bar 595. You s need a G meter, I guess, apparently so. Um, in the middle, I've got infotainment. So I've got radio for that. I've got my media for my phone, nav. Uh, I can plan a trip. Uh, Uconnect, which I have no idea what it is, but it connects you. Uh, temperature. This little, this little thing, which is like a little uh, sport thingy, uh, through the car. Oh yes, these are planks of wood which have been lightly coated in a fabric. Uh, well, that's what at least what it feels like. It is a bucket seat, which is very, very sturdy and very tough. It's got a bit of alcantara, a bit of cloth, um, and you can kind of see by the fact that that's some plastic. Uh, there's, oh, there's a bit of bolster there, but actually it's a pretty tough seat, to be honest. Now, in a normal car, if you wanted to adjust the seat, you'd probably put your hand down the side, like my Mini does, down the side, and you turn the knob, uh, and then, you know, it would move the back forward and backwards, so you could get a bit more comfortable. Uh, in this car, however, if you've got a normal hand, like I do, then you can't actually put your hand down there uh, in a way to move the seat. So what you have to do is, is very simple. You open the door, and then when you're here, then you can turn the knob. There you go, you can see it's going backwards and forwards, like that. And then when you're very comfortable, you close the door, you get back in your seat, you realize you're not quite as comfortable as yours, and you have to open the door again, and then turn it, and then close. Actually, while I'm down here, look how nice these little mats are. So they're little above mats, I guess. Uh, they've got little pins on them, which are really cool. A bit of metal, that looks like a rally car. Obviously, I love rally cars. Down here, let me just zoom in on that. So down here, I've got the Abarth pedals, which actually look pretty cool, don't they? That big, massive pedal. I've obviously got the accelerator, which looks good. Um, what else have I got in here? I've obviously got the boot in the back, but uh, yeah, as I said, because this is going to be a dog car, or used with a dog, I'm going to get a little dog guard thing to go in there but these are going to be basically be down all the time a bit of rubber to protect it and then like a little boot flap uh, and things black headlining um i don't know what that is that's whatever comes to the car but actually it's not a bad looking car is it really uh, bits of carbon fiber alcantara um i like the color scheme i like quite minimalist stuff so i like darker colors grays and blacks which are pretty cool um yeah i think it's right in here it's not too bad at all just watch me break in
Well, that's been kind of a short reveal of this little 595 competition. I mean, it's absolutely nuts. You I mean, you've seen it on the road, while well, you've now kind of seen me driving on the road. The gearbox is crazy, the steering, the sound of it, it's just absolutely nuts. I may want to change these seats. I'll come back to you on a different video, but I may want to change these seats. However, if you like this little 595 competizione, nailed it, then make sure to comment in what you do like on the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have a 595, let us know what it's like, what it's like to live with, uh, what you like and don't like about the car. Uh, but yes, I will do a proper video, kind of a review of the car, how it drives and what it's like to live with. Uh, if you like the video, again, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe to see future videos. But for now, I'll see you soon. I